Welcome back everyone. The iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro just came out, so let me go ahead and do a quick little comparison between both of them. Now the most important thing between both of these in my opinion is the price tag. The iPhone 12 is going to be retailing for $799, with the iPhone 12 Pro is going to be retailing for $999. Now apparently there are like a $30 increase in price compared to a previous, like I guess the Verizon model and not Verizon model, I'm not too sure. But there's still going to be a $200 difference between these whichever way you look at it. So I guess that's a good thing or a bad thing depending on how you're looking at it. So that in and of itself is probably the biggest differences between these two devices. Now surprisingly they have a lot of similar things between them. First of all the screen sizes are exactly the same on both. They're 6.1 inches and I feel like they're going to be around the same feeling in the hand. Apple mentioned that the bezels are a little bit smaller on both these devices all across the board. So I think that's a really cool thing they both have OLED displays on the front too which is really cool so in terms of that I mean there's a lot of similarities and even on the size of these devices I mean they have the flat design as we all expected so it's kind of like an iPhone 5 or iPhone SE type of thing so when you're holding both in the hand one won't necessarily feel way different than the other one I would assume but I feel like the iPhone 12 Pro will be the heavier one which I'll explain in a second they'll both have lightning ports on the bottom and on the back the glass backs now they both have the MagSafe type of connectability on the back which is really cool so if you have that wireless charger that supports it or apple accessories that support it that's a really cool thing and something i really really do like about both these devices that support it and on the glass backs apparently the 12 pro will still maintain that frosted glass back the iphone 12 will standardize with that just standard glass back as we had on the iphone 11 and iphone 10r so in terms of that that pretty much covers that aspect now the top is where i think the iphone 12 pro will probably end up being the heavier one we have a triple camera setup with a lidar sensor on the iphone 12 pro or on the iPhone 12 we just have that standard dual camera lens. Now both cameras are going to be great Apple said coming from the previous generations of both these devices the iPhone 11 Pro and the iPhone 11 going to the iPhone 12 or 12 Pro we're going to be getting a better camera system on it. Now I'm going to assume that the iPhone 12 Pro is going to be the better camera setup so I'm perfectly okay with that I like that a lot but the main thing to keep in mind is that both these cameras are going to be great. I still think an iPhone 8 camera is pretty okay too so I think these cameras are going to be good enough for a lot of people. I'm assuming most people are not filming cinema quality videos on their phones they're just going making snapchats and tiktoks so both these devices will be able to handle that perfectly fine which is something i really do like internally they have the apple a14 chip side of it they both support 5g so speed wise performance wise wi-fi data all that stuff it's going to be great on both these devices i've heard that maybe the iphone 12 pro will have you know more ram inside of it we haven't gotten like an official spec sheet yet so we really don't know the specifics inside of it but i will assume that the iphone 12 pro may actually be a faster phone than the iPhone 12, but we really don't know yet, so I guess we'll wait and see what happens there. Now another big difference will definitely be come in the baseline storage of both these models. The iPhone 12 is retailing with that 64 gigabyte model, like I stated earlier, for $799, but that iPhone 12 Pro is going for $999, but at that 128 gig storage. So you're actually getting twice the amount of storage on the iPhone 12 Pro than on the iPhone 12 on just that baseline storage. So that's another big thing to keep in mind. It's not really the end of the world. You can always get more storage on the iPhone 12, but you will have to spend more money on it to get that bigger storage, whether you already have 128 gigs on that iPhone 12 Pro. So those are really the main differences between both these devices. We don't know how big the battery sizes are or anything like that. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens there. But I'm honestly probably going to assume that the iPhone 12 will probably end up having better battery life than the iPhone 12 Pro, like we've seen earlier on in all these other, you know, comparisons we've done with previous generations of phones so that really pretty much covers it up there if you guys have any other questions or anything let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that means so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so it means so much if you guys can hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my other main channel more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then